back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you four cute back to school supplies that I hope you will really like and that you haven't seen anywhere before. So for the first idea, you're going to be needing a little bit of aluminum foil and you're just going to make a little mold that looks kind of like a trapezoid and it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of make it the best you can. When you have it ready, put it on a flat surface, then bring your hot glue gun. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fill up about a half a centimeter up and work kind of fast because you want it to cool off to make a smooth layer. Once it has cooled off completely, carefully peel off all the aluminum foil so that you're just left with this little piece of hot glue. And if you have any imperfections, you can just trim those off with scissors. To paint this little piece, you're going to need some red nail polish and you're going to paint the top, the bottom, and the sides. Then let that dry and bring over a bottle cap big enough to fit a sharpener inside. Cover the surface with wax paper and put the bottle cap on top. Now you're going to take some hot glue and you're going to make a smooth layer of hot glue all over the top and the sides as well. Now you're going to let it cool down and then when you're done you can trim off the excess to make it really neat. Now you're going to use the heat of the hot glue gun to make a hole that goes through the other side. Now using scissors, a nail clipper, or an X-Acto knife. Then remove anything else you need to remove to make enough room for the pencil sharpener. Now put some hot glue on the back of the sharpener and try to align both holes so that they fit together and you can even use a pencil to help you out. This step is optional but I'm going to use some white spray paint to give it a matte finish because I'm going to be using some acrylic paints. Now I'm going to use some acrylic paint to make random dots from the half down and I'm using different colors to make it look really colorful so that they look like the gumballs in a gumball machine. Using again the heat of the hot glue gun, you're just going to make a little slit here and then you're going to add some glue and you're going to put this little piece right inside. To make it look really cute, you're going to make the face and for this I'm using nail polish. Then paint the lid of the gumball machine and then using some silver paint or nail polish you're going to paint this little slot for the coins and this little thing where the gumballs come out. And this is how you make a mini gumball machine sharpener. Now let's move on to idea number two. For this DIY, you can use any fabric of your choice. I'm using fleece because it's really fluffy and fuzzy and I just love, love, love it. Cut a rectangle with these measurements and then round one of the sides. Make sure it's right side up and divide it into three sections of 10 centimeters each. Taking the last section as a guide, fold it like this. For the next step, you can use fabric glue, hot glue, but I'm going to use a needle and thread. I'm just going to use a basic straight stitch, nothing really too fancy, and I'm just going to do this on both sides. Before folding it right side up, cut a little bit right here on both sides. Now fold it right side up and leave it aside. Next, cut a smaller rectangle with these measurements and also cut a little kind of bunny ear or ear piece thing and then you're going to glue it or sew it on like this. I decided to sew mine on. Now I'm folding it so that that is inside and this is what I've already sewn and this is what I'm going to sew right now. And this is what it should look like when you're done. Next, remove the excess fabric without removing the stitches and turn it right side up. It already kind of looks fluffy, but if you still want it a lot more fluffier, you can just put a little bit of pillow stuffing inside, and obviously you're going to have to make two. Now it's time to put them on. You can either stick them right on, or you can make two marks inside of the pencil case with a sharpie and a ruler, then use an X-Acto knife or scissors to cut those little marks open, and they should be big enough so that the ear can fit through. Now you're just going to add a little bit of hot glue on here then cover it with some fabric so that it looks pretty. To be able to open and close it, you're going to need a small piece of fabric and sew on snaps like these ones. What you're going to do is you're just going to take one of the little sew on snaps and just sew it onto the piece of fabric. And then you're going to add some glue to that and glue it on the inside of the pencil case. With this method, you won't have any glue or extra thread on this side. And obviously, you will have to sew on the other snap. 
cut two pieces like these and you can sew them or glue them right here. As you can see, I decided to sew mine. Now I decided to use a template that I drew with a sharpie marker so that I don't mess it up because I'm not very good at freehand drawing. So then I'm just going to carefully trace it onto the top and then you can use fabric paint or puffy paint and I decided to use puffy paint and I'm carefully going to paint the same onto the outline. When you're done, let it dry completely, and in the comments below, tell me what animal do you think it is, because I'm not really sure. For idea number three, I'm going to show you how to decorate some pens. So for this you're going to need some charms. I'm using these adorable little bear charms and you will have to attach a jump ring and a piece of chain. Now get a little piece of air dry clay and shape it into a ball. Once that's done, just stick it onto your pen. You're also going to need some eye pins like these. First you're going to cut off a little section of the eye pin and then using some pliers you're going to bend it so that it makes an L shape. Now you're going to carefully place it in like this. And while you're doing this, twist your pencil so that the L shape stays stuck inside. When you're done, let them dry. As you can see, I made a bunch of these and they're all in different colors, so to make the clay match, I'm going to color them with some markers. The last thing you will need is one more jump ring. You're going to attach this one to the eye pen and to the chain, and once you're done that, you are completely finished. For the last idea, we're going to need a piece of cardstock or any other sturdy paper with these measurements. Fold this in half and then draw a circle, making sure that the top part is on the folded part. Now you're going to cut off the excess and make sure that both of the parts are still attached. And to make it a little bit more sturdy, I'm going to add a piece of brown paper right here. Then I'm going to make two circles with that same brown paper and glue them onto those. Then I'm going to add some icing using green paper, and using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut a circle in the middle. Draw on some sprinkles, and don't forget the adorable face. I made the eyes with some paper, the mouth with a sharpie, and the white parts with pen. You can make as many as you want using different colors. Once that's done, I covered them with some clear tape, and then cut off the excess so that it makes them look really shiny. To turn them into bookmarks, you're going to need to add a little bit of glue and then add on a magnet. And the magnets I'm using is from one of those cards that shops give you to put on the refrigerator. And that's it, you have your very own magnetic bookmarks. So when you're ready to be finished reading, you can put on your little bookmark and clip it on. I hope you enjoyed these DIY school supplies. If you make these, don't forget to tag me on my social medias, and until next time, bye!